April 11, 1942. Martins of Royal Dutch Air Force attacked an IJN task force heading towards Batavia, damaging Haruna, the last of Kongos. Task Force Sumatra, led by the veteran HMS Warspite, attacked the task force shortly afterwards, destroying it utterly. Will IJN make a last throw of dice, risking their precious carriers to conquer Java? Hello and welcome back to Southeast Asia, just north of uh, Surabaya, where our task force, anti-submarine warfare task force uh, Dutch one, is uh, has been uh, jumped by a submarine, but that's their task. So we can see the torpedoes just here. Uh, we are going to avoid them with our Dutch destroyer and. Uh, Trump is going to run away because, to be honest, uh, she has more or less run out of uh, uh, run out of depth charges. So off you go. Fungen is what is going to sink this particular sub, and uh, I first need to avoid the torpedoes, of course. Well, that's not a big deal. You can see that I have just avoided the torpedoes. Okay, Fangend has found it. Uh, we are going to attack. Uh, given how Dutch destroyers drop their depth charges, uh, which is from the sides, it's actually best if you attack uh, sort of perpendicular, so that's what we are going to do. Okay, we are getting ready. Uh, what we want is be almost cross with her, so I slow down and uh, shortly we will be in a position to attack. And you can see we are firing on each side, so... We will see and you can see they are dropping from each side. We bear slightly off, but still should be a good one. Yeah, I would say it was a good one. Uh, she still has some speed, but she is going down. What I'll do is I'll get Trump on her and drop to uh, the last true charges from Trump. And we roll our last charges from from. Can't see them. It's a bit murky. Oh yeah, there they are. Right at the stern. And as you can see, pretty good. I say so. And Trump can leave. We will see whether this will kill her or whether we will have to drop some more charges with Fangent. And she is going down. Excellent. Another type B down. Another command point. So this is our usual start these days. Killing a sub. Because there is not much left to be honest. For the strategic situation. I am sending Task Force Sumatra home. Um, mostly because apart from boys we do not have a huge amount of ammunition. Uh, Javelin's pretty damaged, Enterprise just slightly damaged, Emerald's not damaged at all. Uh, Warspite you can see is uh, rather badly damaged, um, Boyce is okay, but uh, um, I'll release her just sort of to save on fuel and uh, engineering. Um, Task Force Java has taken up the uh, place here to search for anything that would come our way. Uh, meanwhile, we have got Task Force 7 here, which is really a uh, transport uh, task force. So I just unloaded uh, the everything that we have, but uh, engineering is a bit trickier. And we shall send it back home to pick up more stuff. This path thing is a bit of a bummer, but what can you do? Um, 
Uh, Cimarron has delivered uh, 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 fuel to Denpasar and she's heading back. Flandria will pick it up and distribute to Chilat, Chap, and Batavia. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not planning on taking any other. Uh, we have uh, uh, sort of, and I mean, Benjamin Simba will fight them off. Plenty of uh, people there, troops there. Um, we will have to pick up something and get it to Makassar shortly because it's sort of running out of uh, engineering and fuel. But uh, that's uh, for the slightly later. Um, and uh, Trusty is patrolling here as usual. And that's pretty much it for our uh, start of the episode strategic overview. So let's go and uh, uh, see whether we can find something bigger. Well, and we haven't got anything bigger. Uh, there is a task for S Sumatra being attacked by a sub. You can see the torpedoes coming just here. Uh, Hobart, we've uh, already broke up and uh, we shall uh, get out of way as soon as we can. And the first charge goes away. And a second one. And you can see that the first one did some serious damage. And I suspect the second one will do as well. And one more for a good riddance. That should really kill her. Well, she still is only heavy moderate. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to drop a few more charges. Uh, we dropped it right on the top of her. Uh, as you can see, that was very much on the top of her. This would have killed the sub uh, a few times over. Uh, yeah, sometimes I don't know what is the damage model because sometimes it's a bit ridiculous. I'm going to wait for a second and we'll see. I don't want to waste more uh, depth charges on her. Okay, one more pattern because why not? Um, maybe should have dropped it a bit closer to the bow. I really love the depth charges exploding below the surface. Uh, I mean the bottom. And she is going down now, finally. Yeah. And we've met another task force having two heavy cruisers, but I've spawned right on the top of them, so uh, there is not a huge amount of time that I have to prepare myself. Uh, this four Martins, these four Martins are going to attack the first. Um, heavy cruiser here, while two Martins from Chile Chop are going to attack out this one. Oh, we lost the Martin already, and we could lose more if we don't get there in time. This is not the best of the angles by far. And we've lost another plane, so let's see whether we will get anything. And we lost another We've got one good hit. Okay. Well, it's three planes. Which is not great, but um, we have to live with it. It does mean it's easier for us to attack this one, so we are going to concentrate on attacking here. Well, it is heavily damaged, but it's still moving at a decent speed. And um, uh, mostly it has really the ability to maneuver so we'll see we will see how it goes we should be ready to drop any time now he is turning unfortunately okay three two one so let's see let's see how it goes Hit and one probably 
a nearby. Well, basically, our machinery is gone. We should, at the very least, be able to catch up with uh, our fleet. And given that they usually don't break up, uh, we should be reasonably okay. Okay, Houston and Exeter are targeting number six, which is uh, another um, of the Japanese heavy cruisers, and that's what we need to deal with first. Everything else is a disruption. And number three is basically irrelevant. Uh, she is quite far away, and she is. Uh, let's start laying some smoke and. Uh, see what we can do here. It looks like we are... we can see our ships here and it looks like some shells at least landed a reasonably close to this Furutaka. You can see that we are already shooting fairly close. I think I'm going to... well, that's the first one. I think I'm going to send some star shells. Yeah, and you can see star shells are coming in. Uh, the light cruiser is coming in. But uh, for the time being, we are okay. Finally, a proper hit. Doesn't look like we have hit Kurotaka yet, though. All this Minikaze is starting to look um, not very well, which is good, of course. We like that. Hobart has been hit. Being repaired. Yugumo. Okay, I haven't seen Yugumo yet. Well, Minikaze looks. Much worse for the wear. There are some really cinematic things you can see in this game. I would love to see a crew sort of running. Looks like these two guns are gone. One four good guns probably gone as well. Just already still plenty of ammunition. Let's go and fire spot. Same with Exeter. Uh, purely from perspective of saving some ammunition. Okay, we, it looks like we have hit this Furutaka. Um, but it looks also like we have damage somewhere on our side. Yeah. Earth is moving very slowly because she's waiting for everyone to do their nice uh, run around, which is uh, Marblehead. Stop tar uh, extra Earth. Stop targeting Minikaze. Start targeting Yumu. Ah, it looks like we are potentially looking at some torpedoes. Yeah, we are getting some hits from Houston or Exeter. And we are getting some hits to Yugumo. That was nice. This Minikaze is taking a long time to sink. Exit there. Form up.
Electra is going to send some torpedoes manually around here. And we will also send some torpedoes with the uh, uh, Marblehead. Whoops, <laughs> just as well we've uh, already fired our uh, torpedoes with the use of it. And we are going to... Unknown... Form this screen. And turn around with the... Uh, uh, and just as well we've turned here by the looks of it. Okay, Minikaze is sinking finally. Hobart, oh, you are going to fire your torpedoes manually over here. Hobart is just broke it badly by the looks of it. Okay, let's lay some smoke. Uh, and you go and fire at whoever you wish. And Perth go and fire at whoever you they wish. Because Yugumo is gone now. There is this uh, light cruiser. Couple of destroyers. Still firing at Shiraitsu. Start firing at Katori. Katori is, yeah, um, it's not the great light for let's put it this way. And then she just had a magazine explosion, so let's go and give Hobart the ability to fire at whoever they wish. Electra is in a bad state though. Let's get her out of here. Marblehead. Yeah, you fire it to wherever you wish as well. Which does appear to be Katori. No, this Katori. Let's sink it quickly. Uh, it appears that uh, Furutaka has been fixed. At least it has no fires. Right, so here is in a rather bad state, as is this Katori. Weird. I thought that the rear magazine is blown up, so how come the fire is there? Hobart slowly fixing things. As is Electra. Yeah, well, this is close quarters. Destroyer against the light cruiser. No contest, really. Okay, we need to turn a bit. Marblehead, break. Shiraitsu is sinking as we fully expected it would, as I said on short distance, no contest. This is a second Shiraitsu. Well, Hobart, we will actually get out of here. He appears to be in not a great shape. Katori is finally sinking as well, which will make things easier for us. Hobart. Bar torpedoes in the water, but too far away to be worried about, which is fine, is how I like it. Uh, this is the other Pirai 2, which you can see actually Exeter, Taipei, Onfurtaka, 
used in secondaries, AP and floor tanker as well. There's plenty of uh, of star shells now. So we really need to start doing something else in star shells. Oba art. Oba art appears to be targeted by floor tanker, so we are going to get away. I hope. We managed to. We're all barred. But, uh. that kind of thing is being wasted. And now everyone is going to target Furtaka because there isn't anyone left. But Marblehead needs to. Turn around quickly, how about Turn around as well. Okay, Fort Taka is being taken. I made the fruits a lot off. Uh, there is still one destroyer along all way way here. So we'll see. That is a poor type that is being made, a fruit salad off. He's not going to last for much longer. But Marblehead is uh, suffering a bit. But I don't think it's going to last for long because poor type is going to be. Her guns are going to be on in not too distant future. Yeah. And you can see how she is going to be destroyed. And going down. Okay, Marblehead. You look positively bad. Okay, this is a Sasha. And I don't think she's gonna last for too long. But we did get a bit... Uh, pummeled. She is quite low in the water, and I think she is going to be lower yet in not too distant future. As our light cruisers continue removing this threat. Okay, here is the last Furutaka, and actually this is a double extinction event, because if we kill this Furutaka, which seems likely, uh, and we killed Katori, and that's uh, two classes demolished. That will leave Japanese Navy with three heavy cruisers, and uh, I think about two or three light cruisers. So basically, apart from destroyers and uh, uh, the uh, carriers, it will have nothing. Torpedoes in the water. But we are fine. Arbalhead is the only one which is still suffering from something. Uh, this is uh, Hobart's not in great shape either, but you know, we can go. And this is Sasha is just uh, going to be a new artificial reef. Yep, and down she goes. Well, this engagement I think was pretty good and I will uh, have it as the last one of the episode. Uh, which means that the episode's not too long, but uh, quite interesting. Unfortunately, I suspect that as we have eaten into 
uh, these uh, 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 bigger ships, uh, we will probably run more and more into uh, submarines and the likes. Um, well, submarines, well, the, the destroyers at least sort of is a surface engagement. So we can see nice explosions, magazine things, and so on. But uh, with submarines, it's just uh, uh, boring most of the time. So uh, I might just cut out the submarine hunts. Let me know what you think. Uh, but um, yeah, it's it's just too many of them. Submarine hunts, I mean, and the submarines. So if we get rid of a few of those submarines. I think there's still about 20 left or something like that. So if I drop a few more, um, then maybe when the last one is uh, being signed or something like that, then that's okay. But apart from that, I'm not sure whether it's uh, interesting for you guys to watch. Sort of find the submarine, drop the depth <laughs> charges on it, uh, see the submarine sink. I think the surface engagements are much more interesting because you actually have to. Uh, sort of not just run over where the submarine is and drop the depth charges until she dies. The big guns are spotting, that's why they are firing so slow. And you can see Marblehead sort of machine gunning from behind. She's running at five knots. Uh, shortly we will be somewhere where we will just Yeah. She's not gonna last much longer. You still can fire her uh, rear turret, but it's just one rear turret. Nothing much. It's just two guns. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that the Martins did the damage, because uh, it's obviously much easier to deal with one heavy cruiser than two heavy cruisers. This one didn't really do much during the battle, so... Even though we lost three Martins, I think it's worth it. And Exeter has run out of ammunition already, so he is firing high explosives. Which tells me that we will have to go and release the task force <laughs> Java. Because, um, yeah, we, we just don't have the um, in, enough supplies and everything. But it's a week, so it's not a big deal. I have bought uh, some uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, uh, destroyers at Mirror class, so we will use those to hunt uh, the uh, the subs and the uh, task force with Trump. I bought some more light cruisers, and they will go and uh, hunt any destroyers and things like that between Java and Pacific. So, this is it. The last of four Takas is going down. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a bit more interesting. Than, not as interesting as the last one, but it was more interesting than hunting subs and uh, destroyers. Unfortunately, with each of these big things killed, there is one fewer for IJN. But anyway, so if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. That helps the channel a lot. Uh, and as I said before, I love comments, so I'll accept any and all, positive and negative. And likes are uh, also appreciated. Um, thank you and goodbye.